go to make our base so we draw a rectangle and then type in 69.5 m comma space 30.9 m and press enter and when we do this we'll get a base to the correct scale and you'll see when you zoom out how enormous the Parthenon was. The next job we have is hopefully straightforward and this is adding the steps in our base and we do this using the offset tool. It's better if you use your bit tool so you're looking down on your base and then click on the offset tool and just draw a rectangle just inside your first rectangle and then we just pull up with the pull up tool and we're going to add in another offset and again we're just going to pull up that one as well next job and this is where it gets trickier is to add our columns now we've got the measurements for the columns the first one has a radius so across the circle is 0 0.75 m so type that in click on enter and then we're going to pull it up with we're going to zoom in so we can um, pull up our column we'll pull it up a little bit and then we're typing 10.4 m and click on enter and then we'll have our column at the correct height we're just going to select that and drag it to the corner of our base i'm just going to take one or two copies of that i might need those later on if I don't I can just delete them so now I've got my different copies I'm going to I've got one selected so I'm going to move that to the corner of the base and place it there that's it and then I'm going to use uh, I'm going to click on control and then use move tool I'm going to drag it out and I should have a copy which I'll put in the corner now I want 16 of these so underneath my question mark is the backslash key so I click on there and I want 16 columns so I click on 16 and wow I've got my 16 columns now I'm going to do I've done the same to the other side now I've selected a column again I click control with the move key click down the bottom of my column drag it out and then backslash key and six and click enter and when I do that there we are again we have our columns there so I'll just use, use your bit tool go around the other side and repeat Sometimes it can be fiddly, it's not straightforward, but you can see the results are quite amazing. So click down the control, click down the bottom, place it at the end, and then slash and six. Next job is to put a roof on, and we've seen in the past it's difficult to draw a roof, so I'm just going to draw a rectangle on top of my columns. Now if I go to pull this up, it will take part of the columns with us, so it doesn't really work. So I'm going to select my Parthenon and right click and I'm going to make a component. And I'm going to call it columns, you can call it whatever you like. But by making it a component, it's putting all those parts together and it means I can then draw a roof on top and the roof I draw on top it will deal with separately so I'm just going to draw my rectangle on top now it should be safe for me to pull up my triangle on top, my rectangle on top I'm going to pull it up five meters so type in five meters and enter and then this is this can still be fiddly it can still go wrong but we're going to we've done this before we're then going to make the pitch in our roof tool so pull it to there and then to the other side 
and then I should be able to use my push tool to just push away that side that's it right at the end maybe a little bit more that's gone and then on the other side and there we have it not perfect but when I go around I'm quite pleased with that a bit more practice and it'll be even better but that's the scale model of the Parthenon.